What is going on guys? My name is James, or thanks, see ya, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Yogbox adventure. And I still haven't fixed this hole in the roof. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, anyway, welcome back. I hope everyone is okay and everything. I've been fairly busy off screen. As you guys know, it's been a little while since I posted one of these. Uh, I've kind of not been doing too much in terms of the Yogbox. Just made a few very, very early starts and a couple things. Uh, and I actually want to go and explore the, uh, what are they called? Those... Really, really cool obsidian, not obsidian, obelisks. Yeah, so I want to actually go into some obelisks today. I, uh, I actually did make the recipe for the item that we need, which is actually up here. So, yeah, let's go. Still haven't finished this yet. Uh, getting around to that. It's it's like a sky platform at the moment, but I want to kind of enclose it and stuff. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, I actually made the goggles of revealing, which I still need to craft, but um, we need these in order to see the pattern in order to get into the obelisks. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that, I think, in this episode. Uh, we also have concentrated vision, which we've already got, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we've got air fire, and we've got a traveling trunk, which is a new one, which I haven't actually um, put into the put into the pattern yet, because I've got nothing to, nothing to, like, make it more efficient with. So, well... Just yet, but I think we'll probably find some some stuff at some point. But yeah, I kind of want to show you a little bit about what I didn't change and stuff like that. Oh, I also made myself some fancy new uh, uh, pick and a shovel. They're like efficiency five. But the problem is I made them out of the uh, thalmium ingots or thormium ingots. So they're really, really undurable. <laughs> so yeah, they're just basic efficiency um, five picks. Uh, they're fairly cheap to repair to be honest which is no, not too big a deal but I, I wanted some efficiency items because I'm going to be digging out a large area of land and the the uh, the crazy cool axe that we found in last episode is a little bit unpredictable at times so anyway right with this battle tower thing which I was doing a little bit last episode I've kind of decided to keep it to the one crucible of souls per layer because I think two didn't really seem that much more efficient. Um, so I've gone with the one crucible and I've gone with the four bellows. These aren't powered just yet. I haven't actually rigged them up just yet because I kind of want to get my area set up before I rig it up so it can start killing things. But yeah, I've got one there and I've also got... Oh, on, this is really messy. As you can see, I've started. I'll show you actually in a second. But I have... The hell is that? Is that on? That shouldn't be on. Ah, uh, no, quick. They shouldn't be powered. It's not powered. How is it? How is that powered? I've not put any power in it. That's weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I've got one on each layer. Ah, oh, this thing shouldn't be spawning yet because it's got nowhere for the viz to go. So let me just disable this. Uh, but so uh, yeah, I'm going with the one. Ow! God damn you! <laughs> I'm going with the one each floor, and I'm basically going to pump it out the side of the battle tower. I mean, I'm kind of at the height now where I could probably actually do three layers, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but anyway, it's going to come out of the tower and it's actually going to go in here, and then um, that's just a little window bit. But yeah, I'm going to dig out this room here, and it's kind of going to be fairly big. Obviously, I've just started because this is kind of boring uh, if you do it for absolutely ages. But um, yeah, this is going to be like sort of a a Thorncraft room, and I'm going to try, anyway, to to kind of separate the, the vis and the taint, and then, because some things do use taint, um, so as well as that, I might also be starting to perhaps look at what happens if you use too much taint, or if too much taint is in the atmosphere or whatever, um, because I saw this guy on, on YouTube, he was doing like a, a Thorncraft Let's Play, and he had this huge area, it was like a massive swamp, and, uh, oh, it was a lion. Rawr. Oh, I knew you were going to attack me. God damn you. Um, but yeah, he had this huge area which he had obviously like let infect or, you know, let the taint take it over and it was all purpley and cool and whatever. And then he also had one of these items that I have actually got, I believe, which is like uh, this special block that stops the spread of it. So I was thinking that maybe somewhere over on the other side of the mountain or on the top of the mountain we could have an area dedicated to purely uh, producing taint or maybe like the top of the battle tower and then I could pipe it to an area or something like that. It's very early days, there's plenty of ideas and stuff, but anyway, for today's episode, what I thought we'd do is go and take a look at some of those obelisks to see what cool stuff lays inside, and this is the first time I've ever been in any of them, so, um, yeah, we actually need to make thormom- oh, thormometers. How on earth do you make a thormometer? So leather's fine, gold ingot's fine, um, can we actually find that out with our enchanting book? Hopefully now we've added the recipe in, and um, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, 
where would it be? Actually, if we can go set item, and then we can go to, uh, what was it called again? Uh, goggles. Goggles! Where are you, goggles? Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't seem to have added it just yet, which is a little bit annoying, unless I can't see it. No, I don't really... I don't see it here just yet, so that's kind of annoying. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to quickly go on Wikipedia and then find out, and I will meet you guys back in a second. So, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. What we need to do is do ourselves some infusing, and we actually need to get ourselves a vis detector and a taint detector. So, I actually already made four compass, but we need gold, we need leather. Hmm... We've only got two leather, so we might have to go and slaughter some cows. Uh, I think we've only got two leather. Let's have a look. Uh, no leather in there. Ah, three more leather in here. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've got that much leather, so that might be an issue. But never mind, because we'll go and make ourselves the the uh, the other ones. So we need a vis and a taint detector, which is a compass, a vis crystal, a taint crystal, and gold, basically. So, ooh, with a block. Free block! Ugh. Oh, I also managed to get rid of this horrible tower thingy, so I did do that, the sort of weird bit of land, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I managed to get rid of that, finally. But yeah, we need one of those, and we need a tainted crystal. And we need to go in here, like so, and then we go tainted crystal, we go compass, and we go one of these. And then that will make us, I think, the uh, taint detector. Yeah, it does. And we actually need two of these because we need to make two of the uh, things. What are they called? We need the two things of the goggles. So, oh, we need to actually get another... Another tainted crystal. And then we need to do that like that. And then we're going to... Where is it? There it is. I need to tidy up my backpack inventory and put some blocks away. It's really messy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, while I do this, I kind of just wanted to... Uh, I've not really... I've not really done one of these yog boxes for a long time. I'm actually going to go and tidy up my inventory quickly. Ugh, I'm going to take the shortcut. No, I'm not. Damn it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, it's been a little while, so I kind of feel like I've not really spoken off the record to everyone yet. Ah! Go! Yes, God! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, it feels like it's been ages since I've kind of just talked off the record. Uh, and, and I'm sure you guys know if you've been following the Yogbox series for a long time. Uh, I kind of like to, um, because it's just like a really nice, it's like a nice opportunity to kind of just talk candidly about stuff and all that, all that jazz, and um, yeah, things have been going really well, I think, in, in, in terms of, you know, in the channel and stuff, uh, we're actually coming up to 100,000 subscribers, which is insane, so that's really, really cool, um, that's a milestone that's crept up a little bit quicker than I was expecting, actually, um, so yeah, I'm absolutely, absolutely thrilled, oh no, 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 oh Johnny, oh god, oh, not one of these guys, I don't have a gold sword, Oh. Oh, there's a, there's a rat. Oh, Jesus. God damn you, rat. You find me at my weakest. Oh, so we're going to have to burn this guy to death very, 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 very slowly. Oh, man, I hate these things so much. I, God, I, you guys know I hate these things. Like, <laughs> I swear, since like episode three of my original Yogbox Let's Play, which was uh, season one, these guys have like plagued me. And they're always there when I least expect them. I guess that's the point of them. Ooh. Ooh, golden apple. Nice. So, okay, let's go and make ourselves the two tank detectors. Oh, no, there's another one. I'm going to bed. Screw this. <laughs> Screw this. I'm going to bed. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's 100,000 subs coming up, which is mad, which is really, really cool. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Oh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's it's a milestone, you know. I, this is the thing, like, in terms of, in terms of YouTube, people do celebrate milestones, I think, a little bit too often. Uh, and that's not like a, a weird comment, but I think it's it's really important to be grateful for what you have on your channel. And don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly grateful um, for the amount of subscribers I have. But I mean, there, I think there's only like a few, uh, there's only like a few milestones that for me just make me go like, wow, that's insane. Because I, I think that anyway, like daily, if you know what I mean, it's not like unusual for me to be like, oh my God, I've got blah, blah, blah amount of people who enjoy my stuff. Um, but I think that 100,000 is certainly... Uh, a huge milestone, and then I think half a million, and then a million. Uh, those are like the big, big milestones for me. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. You don't take things for granted too much, I suppose, in this, in this, in this YouTube game, because um, 
Yeah, every day you're kind of just like, oh my god, what is this madness? People want to watch me talk rubbish. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. And uh, yeah. Oh, detected zero viz. Dang. I've got viz in there. Why is it making a piano noise? Oh, it's a viz detector. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, so it detects viz. That's really cool. Detected one viz. Detected zero viz. Detected 206. Ah, oh, that's really cool. 208 viz. That makes a little piano noise. What, does the other one make a different noise? Is there any taint in here? Tainted love. Zero taint. 16 taint. Oh my god. Cool. So anyway, right. Let's make these... Let's make these here goggles because I... Oh. Yeah, I can actually make them, so no problemo. We need three leather. Oh, we need to make the thermometer thingies first. Oh, how did I make that? I've forgotten. Um, uh, oh, no, I, I remembered it, and now I've completely forgotten. Uh, I think it's the, the, the combination of that with a few more things. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, oh, let me just check. All right, I'm just going to double check, and I'll be back in a sec. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember. It's actually one of every other crystal apart from the two that we just used, so we need... Uh, we need a fiery, we need an aqueous, we need an earthen, and we need a... Um, we actually need two of each. Uh, I should have mentioned there, so... Ein, zwei, zwei, and we also need... Uh, what's the other one? Oh no, we've only got one vaporous crystal. Damn it! Uh, do we have any more anywhere at all? Because we, we really do need one more of those. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go and try and find one. So, we could do that. Oh, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the advice uh, last episode with that crazy cool pickaxe. Everyone was like, "James, you're full. <laughs> it already has." Uh, what's what's it thingy? Uh, the the cool enchant um, uh, uh, fortune. Like James, it already has fortune. And I was like, "Thank you." So that's kind of cool that it already has it. Um, so it actually does get the crystals as well, which is kind of cool. So I actually think what we're gonna do is try and find ourselves another crystal. Um, we might, actually, let's get rid of all this crap that we don't need. We actually need the leather. Um, we got a diamond axe. Do, 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 do. Um, what else do we not need? I'm going to leave that crafting guide here, although I'm going to put it in a different chest because I will lose it. Um, and yeah, let's probably go and just do some, like, random mining and try and find some more crystals. I'm going to go over to that weird chunk glitch style area over here because... And there seem to be a lot of crystals there, so... And this is actually the uh, the, the, the one I'm going to go to first, this one. Um, so I'm going to go down here. When I get my goggles! So... Okay, let's see if that chunk glitch is still here, this weird chunk glitch. Which is really weird. Ah, there's, there's a yellow one. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> We're going straight for that. So, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. We gotta sell some dirt! Okay, right. Uh, this is a little bit cheaty, I'll be honest. A little bit cheaty, but you gotta do what you gotta do in Minecraft to get yourself to crystals. Oh, yes. We go in deeper underground. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh my god, look, look at the right hand side of my screen. I've got like a little vis and taint thing. Oh. I did not realize that was there, but it's kind of cool now I've seen it and we got ourselves the crystals. Which is nice, so. God. I know where to come for crystals. I don't understand what this is. Like, every time I relog, it's not here. And then when I start playing, it comes back. But as you can see, there's so many crystals here. So this is definitely, like, a good area. It is a good area. If I can get out of here. Come on, James. Don't drown. Hang on, I can use my super sword. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, God, how the hell do I get out of here? I don't like this at all. <laughs> Alright, hang on, let me just blow my way through. Oh god. Alright, okay, this is this is not good. This is not good. I'm stuck at a glitch. Oh god. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Oh, there we go. Freedom! God damn it. Oh, use the super sword, get out. Oh, also, yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot. You guys told me that the um the if you right click it, it sends you to like special ores and stuff, which is very cool. Does it work? Yeah, it does work. Very, very cool. Very, very cool pickaxe. Um, what the hell is that? Ow! What the- Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell is you? Where are you? Where do you come from? I don't like you at all. 
It was telling me to come here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we're gonna we're gonna come back to that. Obviously, we're coming back there in a second anyway. But yeah, very strange. But uh, anyway, okay, let's go and make ourselves these things. God, I love this sword. It's so cool. Okay, right. So we have one of every single one. So we're gonna go uh, two. We're just gonna stick all of them in for now because. There we go, so the first one we're going to make is uh, this one, and we're going to have to put these two in like so, so iron, zwei, oh, there we go, so we got one, a uh, thermometer, and I think we're going to get the second one now, I don't actually know what these do off the top of my head, but I might actually click one just to see, see what happens. Ah, so it's detected a viz of 0% in taint, so it gives you like a capacity rating, and it gives you a percentage, which is pretty cool. Fair dues, pretty cool. But anyway, we need to go to a crafting bench now. And we can make ourselves the goggles. And then, uh, yeah, we can actually go down and explore some of the, the obelisks. And I've actually seen loads of obelisks around. So I'm kind of thinking this might be really cool to, to go and explore it and stuff. Um, how was it? Was it like that? Was it like that? Was it like that? And then it was three leather like so. Boom! Goggles of revealing. And what we do is we stick them on like that. <laughs> Yeah! Why are you hating? Why are you hating? <laughs> that is... Oh, yeah! They are some cool glasses, man. Yeah. I like. <laughs> so, anyway, we, we have now this really cool gauge for, like, viz and stuff, which I really, really like, actually. Although we have actually got rid of the items, it's still there, which is cool. Very cool. I think we can actually repair our armor a bit. Yeah, I should probably repair my armor before it falls apart. But anyway, we we should probably go down and explore the first obelisk, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, I might actually... Actually, let me put these... I'm going to be needing to make a bigger storage area, because my, like, block chest is, is literally completely and utterly... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> completely and utterly full, he lied. Uh, I also could do with some cloud boots, because I think these stop you from fall damage, if I'm correct. I could be talking absolute rubbish there, but I, I hope I'm not. <laughs> so, all right, let's let's go. Let's let's go and do an obelisk. Oh no, hang on. We actually need to get ourselves some crystals as well because it has like a little like, combination. I'm sure some of you guys know. Um, what the? Whoa. Okay, that's what cloud boots do. They let you jump. So what about fall damage? Oh, you take very, very minimal fall damage. Man, these boots are awesome! Why didn't no one tell me about this sooner? You should have been like, James, you fool! <laughs> the, the, the cloud boots are awesome, and I could have been like, yes, they are. Alright. So, we might actually need... I don't really remember. Oh, that'll do. We'll just take them all. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's go and find ourselves what's down this cool obelisk. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to put this pickaxe away, because I don't trust myself with it. And, uh, yeah, you know what I'm like sometimes. So, okay. What is the combination? What is the combination? Okay, so we need green, two yellow, and would you credit it? We've only got one yellow. Ah! All right, so we're going to have to go and <laughs> dig it down the hole for another yellow crystal. Digging down our cheaty, cheaty hole. Um, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Oh, there's one right below us, actually. Uh, we could do that. Uh, I, uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Quick, before I drown! Uh, uh, yes! <laughs> oh my god, there's so much stuff everywhere. Yeah, but okay, we got him, so that's cool. Um, let's get out of here, please, before I die. Oh, it's sand. Oh, we don't like sand. We don't like sand. Uh, why am I so slow? Yes, okay, we're out, good. So we managed to get ourselves some more crystals, and yeah, let's do this combination. So, uh, we need green, so earthen, we'll get rid of these blocks. Uh, we need green, like so. We need two yellow. We need two yellow crystals either side, and we need one aqueous. Oh, we got six aqueous, nice. Boom! Ooh, <laughs> cool noises. So we need to drop down here. I think it'll be okay. Oh, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Ow! Yeah, so we are in this weird, cool chamber of awesome, and I've not remembered how to get out just yet. I suppose we could use our sword, actually. Uh, but yeah, isn't this cool? So we got some chests and stuff. 
a glowing eldritch device. Wow. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> okay, so... Right. Ah, the mechanisms. Yeah, I wondered how you got these. It all makes sense now. An eldritch repository. An exceptional eldritch artifact. So I actually had a few of these already from somewhere. I can't remember where, but... This seems to be like a really good source of a lot of eldritch artifacts, which is... Which is pretty awesome, actually. I've got to say. Um... And also, I, I only, only have, like, so, so few recipes for the Eldritch stuff. Or, like, none at all or something. So this is going to be really, really useful. And what is this here? Don't blow up. Avoid interface. Oh, okay. So what happens is I think you stick the interface in and you can, like... It's basically like an ender chest, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. So I suppose... I suppose we should just start stealing all this cool stuff. Because why the hell not? Oh, am I full already? Damn it! I do have void chests now, though. I have loads of void chests. So I could actually stick an interface on and, like... Yeah. I don't know what the best way of moving this is, but this stone intrigues me. I'm unsure why this stone intrigues me. Although it doesn't break. None of this breaks. Oh. Fair dues. But yeah, I want to go down some more of these. These are cool as hell. But okay, let's let's you know what? Let's let's get let's get back into the top. Let's let's share our loot and then let's uh, come down again. <laughs> ah, thank God for the sword. Otherwise, we'd be screwed. So I can do probably some more, some loads. Well, I can actually do loads more of the Eldritch stuff, which is really really cool. Try and get some more uh, really cool patterns because it's something that I haven't really got that many of. Um, so let's just try it, for example, here with these artifacts. Let's see what we get. Yeah. A fragment of Eldritch Knowledge. So that's cool. Um, we should probably stick a chest and then put our Eldritch stuff in. Oh, no, ghost! Okay. Oh, no, there's another one. Damn you all. I'm actually going to stick some void chests down. Um, I know we've got the void interface and stuff, but they're pretty big. Nice. And I've got like a void interface. Oh! Oh my god, 11 pages. Where's this stuff coming from? Any of you guys know? Because it says 11, and there's. Does, is this picking up every void chest in this area? Because if so, that's really, really cool. Um, <laughs> I could do with your advice on that one, because it's the first time I've looked at the void chest. But uh, yeah, if it is, that's really, really cool. Don't you think? I think so. But, um, yeah, uh, Eldritch Knowledge, so we've got, um, have we got any more exceptional artifacts or something? Ah, oh, interface. Okay, so common, let's not use common, let's use, um, an exceptional one, and let's use a rare one. And, uh, stick these in there like that, let's stick these in there like that. And uh, let's see if we get anything. No. Oh, okay, that sucked. <laughs> Please give me something. A fragment of Eldritch knowledge. A fragment of lust knowledge. Okay, focus. Let's change it is. Okay, so we've got some more fragments of knowledge. Fair dues. Uh, we can take a look at those in a second, actually. But I want to go down and get those that stuff just in case. But I think this this would make sense if it's like sharing with all the other chests in and around this area. But let me know about that, because I don't actually know, and you guys always always help me out. I'm actually going to go down and get this other void chest, just because I, I kind of want it. <laughs> but, yeah, I do actually know that there's loads of these obelisks all over the place. I've passed, like, 20 or 30 or 40 of them in my travels, so if you think it's best for me to go back and you know, get them and then use a lot of the, uh, you know, farm a load of these things, then I, I will do, because kind of like exploring stuff like that. Maybe there might be some cool items in them that I can't get anywhere else. Who knows? Okay. Let's carry on. But, yeah! Why is my vis going up? Hmm, interesting. It's got a little up arrow. Can you see it? Can you see it? Hmm, strange. But, um... Yeah, I've got another void chest here, so I'm going to stick the void... Stick a void chest in the void chest! Void chestception! 
Um, but yeah, okay, so that's kind of what I'm probably going to do for this episode. I'm actually going to probably end it here. Uh, it's kind of cool that we got that sorted and we've kind of discovered that. For the next few episodes, I'm definitely going to be exploring more into the Thorncraft mod. And, uh, you know, if you guys know of anything that I should check out, then please leave me a comment in the uh, comment section. And then I will definitely read that and uh, check it and stuff. You know, some really cool little bits and pieces that I haven't necessarily done yet. I would love to give them a go. Uh, as well as that, I'm also going to be off screen slowly developing this this battle tower. We might call it, like, I don't know, Viz Inc. or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm also going to be finishing the house because I really need to do that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. It has been a pleasure. Uh, I'll see you next time on the next episode of our Minecraft Yogbox adventure. So until then, thanks and see ya.